we have issues right now. You know, racquetball has issues. You touched on it. We're losing courts. We're losing players. There's been funding issues for years. Um, this has just been going on. And you and I have been in the sport, you know, individually, I've been in the sport almost 40 years and you as well, over 40 years. And, you know, we've worn many hats and we've seen the issues and it's time, you know, we, we do something about that. And it's important that somebody speaks up with a voice and says, hey, we need to help. This is what we need to do. You know, COVID, the virus has accelerated the issues we have with racquetball. It's really fueled, fueled the negatives that we have. And for anybody watching, you know, racquetball is my life. And all the best things, Ellie, I've ever gotten out of racquetball, out of life, came from racquetball. You know, whether it's been opportunities or relationships, my wife, my family, my best of friends, you sitting in this camera right here. You know, without racquetball, I would feel a huge void. And I want racquetball, I want my family to continue to play racquetball. I want Veronica and, and our kids to play racquetball. We've talked about that. You know, racquetball is a life sport. And we need to do everything we can to keep it going, to keep it alive, to keep it strong. As long as I'm here and as long as you'll help Ellie, I'm gonna always do everything we possibly can together to make racquetball the best it can be. And you know, that's it, that's my agenda. My agenda is to help racquetball, grow racquetball, keep it going. I know you feel the same way and I know Scotty Mack feels the same way. And that's why, you know, together we're gonna do this and we're gonna keep going.